Good evening, everybody. This is Trey. I'm back here in the lab at Country Boato, and well, I decided to make a video to say who is a country boy. So I'll be introducing myself in this video, so that when you see me do other videos later on, there won't be as many questions. I can just be like, "Hey, go back and look at the first one," and you know, it'll be done. Cause this is, might be boring, it might be long. I don't know. I'm freestyling it, so we're gonna see how it works out. So. A country boy in a nutshell. We'll try to do this quick. I've drag raced Hondas. I've drag raced an IHRA. I've been a NASCAR Winston West Series crew chief. I've owned shops in Greensboro, North Carolina. I own this shop here in Halifax, North Carolina. I rebuild engines. I will. I do all of this. I got into working on cars in about 1997, 98. 14, 15 years old, and it stuck, because, well, let's be honest, you know, I like to drive, being from the country, being, you know, with nowhere or nowhere to go or, you know, no type of conveniences near you, well, a car was one of the first things that I wanted, you know, I've been driving since I was five, man, my dad bought me a go-kart when I was five, and I was scared of it for one day, and after then, it was like, tell your drift champions to come on. They learn from me, man. No, I'm just playing much respect to all the D1 guys and everybody to do that. I, I like what y'all do, man, for real. But, you know, I've been driving all my life, man. I Five or six years old, been driving. You know, being from the country, you know, I drive. I, I done drove dad home a bunch of nights. You know, I, done, I learned how to drive a stick shift when I was about seven or eight years old. We had a farm, so we had tractors, and you know, so if it, if it drives, if it's got at least two wheels or tracks or a joystick or a steering wheel or whatever, I can pretty much handle it, you know. Sometimes I, I even drive stuff with no wheels, you know. It works out pretty good. I don't like the nine braking, but you know, it works pretty good. But um, so I worked on cars, you know, as a youngster to basically because I really couldn't afford it. I had one buddy. I used to work at AutoZone back in the day. I had one buddy that worked at a shop. His name was Chris. He he done real good work. Me and him was real good friends. He looked out for me and everything, you know. But, you know, that man died. So, ultimately, I had to, you know, find somebody else or whatever. And I, I dealt with a couple more guys, made a couple friends like that. But at the end of the day, it just, I felt it didn't feel right. It felt like something was missing. I don't know if I would have done this with Chris or not, you know, but... You know, I was like, well, at least I want to know what happened and, you know, think I'm getting my money's worth. So I started working on stuff myself, you know, and I bought some Haynes books and I bought some cars and I broke some cars, I fixed some cars. Then I got introduced to nitrous. So I broke some cars even quicker while going fast and I fixed them, you know, and it went from there. I had opportunities to race with Wanda Exum and Thurman Exum. You know, thank y'all very much. I met them while I was at North Carolina A and T. They had a top alcohol dragster. No, it's top dragster for IHRA at the time. I raced with them. Those are cool. I raced with the likes of Chris Bristol and Candace Marsh. I raced with um Tim Woods the third. He's a son of the Hall of Fame NHRA Stone Woods and Cook car. He's Lenny Woods, son. I raced Winston West with him, you know. And then I got tired, you know, wanted to settle down some, moved home, started a family. Had a job, you know, worked at the stereo shop and everything, and it was fine. You know, I like making stereo, making loud music, too. But something was missing. I didn't have a fast car. I, I couldn't play like how I wanted to, you know. So, things had to change and you know over time things changed and here we are you know I slowly got back out of the stereo world again and as you'll see I go in and out and in and out of that we'll do some stereo projects here but I got out of the stereo world and I got into the auto mechanics world well racing and mechanics are two completely different things you can sit out here and you can work on a car and know how to work on a car and know how to fix stuff and hell you can be the neighborhood hero even guess what when it's time to fix everybody else's broken car at random it's gonna be fun I knew that already so this is what I done I said well I'm gonna flip some cars so over over about the course of a year I bought about 30 
of all different makes and models and types and everything. I stayed away from the Japanese cars so much because, you know, I've done so much with those in hobbies. I love Nissans. I love Honda. So I've done so much with that in hobbies. I decided to say, you know, let's do the American cars. Let's do the Euro cars. You know, find out what you like and what you can work on and what you want to work on. So with that being said, I dug in. You know, I worked on Chrysler's. I work on more Chrysler's probably than anything around here. But I've worked on Fords, I've owned Fords, I've owned Chevrolets, I've owned Volvos, I've owned Saabs. I've worked on BMWs, I've worked on Mercedes, but out of the European cars, I really have a Saab, I really have a Volvo. Out of American cars, I really have a Dodge or Chrysler because, honestly, they're the shittiest cars, but they mess up before they actually mess up versus like a GM, you know, that's going to have a million damn miles on it before it messes up, and when it messes up, everything's going to be gone. Or Ford, you know, they're mostly plastic, so it'll break this rubber or plastic piece under the hood, and you, you'll have to wonder where the hell it is, where can you buy it from, it's obsolete, you have to rig some other stuff, I mean, it's just a big mess, you know. So, we worked on those things, worked on those things, you know. Well, I'm getting to the point now where, okay, I flipped the cars, I sold the cars, I tried to hide it for the people in my community, you know, I... I flip cars, I put them on Craigslist, I sell them to somebody that's 100 miles away from me, you know. But no matter what, people break cars every day. So with that being said, once you go to fixing cars and somebody say something about it or whatever, you will be seen. Being seen, hell, I haven't flipped a car in two years now because I've been busy, backed up. With everybody mechanic work. I'm not mad about that at all. You know, it's just it gave me time to think about more stuff actually. The practice come in, you know, I flipped about thirty cars, fixed them up, had plenty of time to drive them around. It was my money I was dealing with, so I didn't have to wait or whatever on customers or whatever, you know. It it was a cool learning experience, you know, funded by me, School of Hard Knocks. So when we got out of School of Hard Knocks, graduated, the door got kicked in. Like I said, I've been busy for the last two years, basically non-stop, working on everybody else's car. I've bought probably two or three cars in the last two years to sell. So, with that being said, it's time to kick another gear over. Building motors is great. Fixing broke cars is alright. Welding is fun. It's time to go fast again. And you'll see coming soon. There'll be... Uh, import rear wheel drive. I, I'm trying to be vague because I don't want to tell you too much about what's going on right now. I'll wait till you can see it. But it'll be an import rear wheel drive car that I'll be. I'll tell you it is. It is made in Japan. It does have a stick shift in it. So for all of y'all that don't know what a five speed is because they don't make them anymore, it seems like, or you got to buy a eighty thousand dollar car to get it. I'll show you. I'll show you what a clutch is. You know, history lesson between me and you. But I got a front wheel drive car coming in the mix too. It's an import. It's not made in Japan. We'll talk about that later. I got an all wheel drive vehicle that's going to be fast. No, it's not a Mitsubishi. No, it's not a boosted Honda. It's not a Wago or none of that. If I'm going to distribute the power to all four wheels, I'm going to use eight cylinders. It's just that simple. So that'll be coming up pretty soon too. You know, I'm going to get together with some enthusiasts. We're going to have some fun. We're going to cater to the fun side of a country boy. We're going to cater to the, you know, let's go out here and do some stuff that a lot of people can see versus let's do some stuff that one person appreciates, you know? And now you know me. Now you know who I am. Now you know what I do. So that's it, you know. I'm going to holler at y'all when we get another video made. And like I said, if you watch this, if you happen to see this, thank you. Continue to watch it. Click like. Put comments. You know, tell me. If you want to see me do something, you want to see me fix something, you want to see DIY, you want to know something about me, put it in the comments. I'll get back at you. You know what I'm saying? If you got a hot car, you know, you want to um, show off or whatever, holler at me. We'll get together. I'll meet you at an event. You know, where we could get together with a whole bunch of other car people. We could talk about it. Build breakdowns or whatever. I don't want to be like Hoon again. I don't want to be like Boosted Boys or whatever. But this is going to be a car show where young guys are going to have some fun. So, with that being said, enjoy y'all evening. And get at me when I make this new one. Holla.